Peace and blessings. Um, I wanted to share with you really quickly the science resources and the uh, foundational curriculum resources that I'm going to be using this year for science. Um, I had planned on using Gravitas Plus this year, but it wasn't financially feasible. So I decided to go with resources that we already had and add on to um, those things. So um, our spine to this year will be uh, the Prentice Hall Science Explorer series. And our main focus this year is gonna be Earth Science. And it is a textbook series. Um, I like this series because it's a little different than the traditional textbook in that it really breaks down each area and goes into way more detail than the traditional textbook. So for instance, the entire series is labeled in alphabetical order. Um, the only book I'm missing out of this portion is the astronomy and I'm waiting for that. But um, the first book is Inside Earth, Earth's Changing Surface, Earth's Waters, Weather and Climate. And um, just to show you a visual com uh, comparison, in a traditional textbook, this is the uh, section that is dedicated to earth science. Just this portion right here. A very condensed version of um, what's going to be taught in this year in this textbook for earth science. As opposed to all of these books. All of this is earth science. So each book is a good 150 to 160 pages and it really goes in depth. Um, this series is geared towards middle school 6th to 8th grade. You can tailor it to your younger children or your older children depending on their uh, level of comprehension. But it's a primarily a middle school resource. In addition to that, um, I purchased some books from my 8th grader to complement these as well. And, oh, mind you, this is for the entire year. So we plan on um, going through each one of these books in a matter of two um, I have it planned out for two to two and a half months per book so our plan by the time we're done we would have completed a whole year's worth of earth science in addition to that uh, I purchased Cliff's quick review and this book goes into um, the basic like the nuts and bolts of earth science it gets right down to the point of the different facts vocabulary words and all those things and at the end of each chapter there's a chapter chest, uh, checklist with a series of multiple choice questions. So I'm going to be using this. I also purchased Barron's Review Course Series, Let's Review Earth Science. And this book was aligned for the uh, New York Regency test but you can use this. It's very, very in-depth and it's set up um, like the Cliff's Quick Review there's just way more information in here and at the end of each chapter there's also a review with multiple choice questions um, in addition to that we are using the Janice Van Cleve series um, we're going to be using oceans this is going to be in um, conjunction with the uh, Earth's waters this is the earth science for every kid. Volcanoes, earthquakes, weather, and rocks and minerals. And these are all a lot of awesome um, hands-on experiments with readily available um, materials that you can use to execute the labs that you're going to be doing. Um, I also have some books for my younger children that I'm going to be using and this is from the Let's Read and Find Out Science series. They have a huge series of different books and um, I have the Day and Night, um, Daylight, Night Light, Where Light Comes From, Gravity, Why Do Leaves Change Colors, and Down Comes the Rain. There are a few other ones that I ordered. I can't remember the title off the top of my head, but they will also be um, with this set as well that I'll be reading with my uh, five-year-old and my seven-year-old. 
we also have these are just books that I pulled off my shelf this does not include the books that we'll be checking out at the library but this will be going with Earth's Waters and this is the Atlantic Ocean the Pacific Ocean and then this book is just ocean then I have um, tornadoes which will be going with weather and climate hurricanes weather forecasting the water cycle and then I have geology crafts for kids when we get into uh, geology learning about minerals and the rock cycle there's a lot of fun hands-on activities in here to go along with that I also have um, I think I named yes rocks and minerals that we'll be using there's a lot of cool uh, hands-on activities are going here as well um, in addition to these resources I have I purchased um, a few um, interactive notebooking um, bundles so I have one bundle for my second grader and I have a bundle for my high schooler and I also have a bundle for my fifth and sixth grader they will be interchangeable because I saw some components of one set that I liked some that my other children can use so I'll probably be interchanging them with all of them but I have about three different interactive notebooking sets I'm going to be using with them I also have um, I don't have actually I do have one of them right here in front of me the easy the easy make and learn series this is a scholastic book and this is hands-on uh, activities now this one's for weather and you make hands-on uh, cutouts tools um, little booklets we use this quite a bit we still haven't created every thing in here I also have this in PDF format which makes it a whole lot easier for me to print out but it's a series of different books it shows you how to assemble them and it also explains um, how meteorologists utilize the tools and, and all the different uh, weather terms and things of that nature in here so this is what the books a lot of the pullouts and manipulatives will look like once they're completed and colored I also have one for Earth Science. I also have a lot of um, literacy related PDFs from Scholastic, stories, read aloud, and some copy work that I'm actually working on right now that I'm going to be incorporating. So I wanted to show you how I piece together my science curriculum on a budget. If you know your plans to use one curriculum don't work, you have other options. Um, side note, I purchased these individually on Amazon.com and I purchased these um, the most expensive one was about a dollar thirty nine plus three ninety nine shipping so for all of these books I paid around I'd say between twelve and fifteen dollars so what I plan on doing is I'm going to um, purchase two more of each one of these books because I'm going to have my set that I can read from and refer to and then my children are going to have their own individual sets so that they can read and study as they need to individually and again these were very inexpensive they have um, just to go over the topics that they do cover um, they go they cover well this is the let me see on the back of the books if they have the whole entire series mm. Here we go. The other series, uh, Life Science, the Earth Science titles, which is what we have, and then there's the Physical Science. So in Life Science, they have From Bacteria to Plants, Animals, Cells and Heredity, Human Biology and Health, and Environmental Science. Then in Physical Science, there's Chemical Building Blocks, Chemical Interactions, Motion Forces and Energy, Electricity and Magnetism, Sound and Light, and then there's the Nature of Science and Technology. Um, there are actually guide like workbooks that go with these and they're actually not that expensive I went online and I checked those out but I felt like I really didn't need to utilize those because I already have some resources set up to go in conjunction with the books so um, that's my plan for this year with science again we're going to be adding a lot more uh, library books for my uh, younger children and my older children but more so for my younger children so they can get a concrete understanding of the concepts that I'm going over with my older children and a lot of hands-on activities and art. So I hope this kind of gave you an idea of how you can piece together resources that you have available to you and how you can also purchase resources that are very inexpensive to create the curriculum that you desire. Peace.